Monthly Notices of the Royal Astronomical Society is a peer-reviewed scientific journal covering research in astronomy and astrophysics. It has been in continuous existence since 1827 and publishes letters and papers reporting original research in relevant fields. Despite the name, the journal is no longer monthly, nor does it carry the notices of the Royal Astronomical Society. Topic history The first issue of MNRAS was published on 9 February 1827 as Monthly Notices of the Astronomical Society of London and it has been in continuous publication ever since. It took its current name from the second volume, after the Astronomical Society of London became the Royal Astronomical Society Ross. Until 1960 it carried the monthly notices of the Ross, at which time these were transferred to the newly established Quarterly Journal of the Royal Astronomical Society 1960 and then to its successor journal Astronomy and Geophysics since 1997. Until 1965, MNRAS was published in-house by the Society, from 1965 to 2012 it was published by Blackwell Publishing later part of Wiley Blackwell on behalf of the Ross. From 2013, MNRAS is published by Oxford University Press OUP. .The journal is no longer monthly, with 36 issues a year divided into nine volumes. Topic. Content MNRAS publishes peer-reviewed articles on original research in astronomy and astrophysics. Two sorts of article are carried by MNRAS, papers, which can be of any length, and letters, which are published more quickly but are limited to five pages in length. Letters used to appear on pink pages in the print edition of the journal, but are now only published in full in the online edition with a contents list in the print edition. Editorial control of the journal is exercised by the Ross through an editorial board of professional astronomers. As of July 2012, the editor in chief is David Flower, University of Durham. Topic. Open access The stated policy of the Ross is, "...to focus on high-quality papers through rigorous peer review and, as far as practicable, to provide free publication." Authors are not charged for publishing in MNRAS, with the costs of publications being met by subscriptions. MNRAS provides a form of open access by providing authors with the option to pay for publication, allowing free access by anyone without charge hybrid open access model. Fellows of the Ross are given free online access to the Ross journals as part of their membership benefits. Downloadable PDF versions of MNRAS articles are made available 36 months after publication delayed open access model, on both the journal website and the Astrophysics Data System. MNRAS also permits self-archiving by authors on personal webpages, in institutional repositories, and on the archive server Green Open Access. Also, authors are provided with a link to a perpetually freely accessible PDF file, the idea being that the file itself should not be hosted by the author nor by anyone except the publisher, while the link to it can be freely distributed. This is the modern equivalent of offprints, paper copies of the article which used to be provided to the author to distribute, freely, as he or she saw fit. Authors do not assign copyright to the Ross or OUP, but are required to grant an exclusive license to publish the article prior to its publication. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Editors in Chief. The following persons have served as editor in chief, formerly titled managing editor or simply editor. David Flower, 2012 present. Robert Carswell, 2008 to 2012. Andy Fabian, 1994 to 2008. 
John Shakeshaft, minus 1994. Roger Taylor, 1979. Function performed by the secretaries of the Ross Council, 1881 to 1979. Arthur Cayley, 1874 to 81. Richard Proctor, 1872 to 74. Arthur Cayley, 1860 to 72. Robert Grant, minus 1881. Richard Sheepshanks. Topic: Abstracting and indexing. The journal is abstracted and indexed in. According to the Journal Citation Reports, the journal has a 2012 impact factor of 5.521. See also Astronomical Journal Astrophysical Journal Astronomy and Astrophysics <laughs>